guys. Okay, so this week I am 10 weeks pregnant today. I'm 10 weeks, one day pregnant. So we're about to do the 10 week bump date. This week, baby is the size of a kumquat, which I've seen them in stores before, but I still have no idea what you actually do with kumquat. So I think they said it's around like an inch and a half or something like that, or like two inches-ish. So that is how big baby is. They have little hands and feet now, which is super exciting. So yeah, baby's getting bigger and developing and doing all of that exciting stuff. As far as symptoms go this week, my nausea is so much better because of the Unisama B6. Um, I tried to take a half dose of the Unisom because it really, really makes me tired. <laughs> like, I feel like a zombie most, most of the day every day. Um, but honestly, I would prefer to be extremely tired over extremely sick. So it's worth it. And the half dose doesn't work for me as well. If I take a half dose, it's like I took nothing pretty much. And so it's not even, I feel like it's not worth it to even take a half dose. So I've been taking the full dose of Unisom and B6 and it is really helping. I still feel sick sometimes, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. So I'm just beyond thankful for that because I feel like I can actually semi-function again, minus being exhausted. <laughs> so yeah, the, I think the exhaustion is the hardest thing this week just because I'm trying my best to be as present as possible as a mother and wife and friend and everything else, but I am so tired. I'm so tired. When the kids go down for a nap, it's also my nap time. I don't even care. I have to. I have to lay down. So the exhaustion thing has been rough, but I will take it any day over the crazy morning sickness. I'm still out of breath and at the gym yesterday I was trying my hardest to do 110 flights of stairs on the stair master thingy um, because it was 9-11 and I was like I'm gonna try to do it. Yeah no, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> I got to like 40 something stories and I'm like I'm gonna pass out. So obviously I'm not gonna push myself that far. I could tell I was getting to the point where I was like yeah I can't breathe anymore so I gotta stop. I tried. I failed, but I tried. Because I haven't been as sick this week, I've been a lot more hungry, which is nice that I have, I feel like I have more options in what I want to eat because I'm not so sick and not everything sounds horrible. Um, so that's been really nice, but I've been eating a lot more because I am hungry. So pros and cons, pros and cons. I'm still breaking out pretty bad around like my chin and my jaw and like my neck and stuff. So that's gross, but whatever makeup can cover it I'm not so worried about it one thing that's pretty cool is my nails have gotten a lot stronger normally i have the thinnest nails in the world and they just break all the time but they're actually like pretty strong i think it's also from the prenatal vitamins too but like i am loving this all right this is just something for any of you who have taken progesterone before so with ellie i was on the vaginal suppositories for progesterone and this time i'm taking the oral progesterone and I feel like with the oral progesterone, there's a lot more side effects. Like I feel it a lot more. With the suppositories, I haven't really noticed that much of a difference besides bloating. Um, but I feel like with the oral ones, I so I take it at like 10 at night. And within 30 minutes, I'm out. I mean, I also take the Unisom around them, but even before that, like I, am, I get so sleepy, so dizzy, and I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Honestly, it kind of feels like you're drunk. That's what it feels like to me. Um, does anybody else feel like that when they take oral progesterone or is that just me? I don't know. All right, so my cravings this week have been anything spicy and then sour stuff. So I've eaten Mexican food or like some type of Mexican food almost every single day this week and it's been awesome. And then, oh, and one of my friends brought me back spicy, they're, I don't even know what they're called. They're spicy mangoes. They're like dried mangoes with spices on the outside. So good. So I've been eating those a lot. And, um, and then sour things. I've usually been eating sour gummy worms to help with nausea. Um, but I only like two flavors out of the whole bag and then I waste the rest of the bag, which is horrible. But I found a brand of sour gummy bears and every flavor except for lemon. Lemon's gross, ugh. Um, they all taste amazing though, except for lemon. And so I've been digging those because one, helps with my nausea a little bit, 
and they taste amazing. Some foods that I have wanted nothing to do with is still ice cream. It's just so weird. Every once in a while it sounds good and I feel like I could eat it, but it would have to be a certain particular kind. Like I would eat Ben and Jerry's like cookie dough flavored or something, you know? I don't know, but um, all the other ice cream sounds gross. And then eggs, which is super weird because I love eggs. The only way that doesn't sound bad is hard boiled. Everything else, like when I've been making my family scrambled eggs, I just gag the whole time. In fact, now I just make James make them because I can't do it. I can't do the scrambled eggs right now. That's pretty much it for symptoms and things like that. Um, so next week, I will not be putting a bump date up because James and I are going on vacation and it's a kid free vacation. So we've had this plan for a while and I didn't originally think I was gonna be pregnant during this vacation, but it's okay. It's still gonna be really fun, obviously. Um, but we're going with my brothers and their significant others. So it should be really fun. We're gonna go to Florida um, and my mom will be here with the kiddos watching them. So that's, it's just, I'm super excited. But yeah, I won't have a bump date up next week because of that. But now with Hurricane Florence doing its thing, that could potentially change our vacation plans because um, you know, it was trending kind of north. It looked like it was gonna smack North Carolina and kind of go up. And now they're thinking it's gonna hit more like North Carolina, South Carolina, maybe even into South Carolina and then go down, which could then hit Savannah, maybe, depending on what it does. Right now, I don't think it knows what it's doing. Um, in which case, we may have to go to Savannah and take care of our house there to see you know, if there's damage or whatever, flooding or anything like that. So either vacation or Savannah, well, I don't know. But either way, if you guys are somewhere that's gonna be affected by Florence, I'm thinking about you guys and I'm praying for you. And if you feel like you should evacuate, please evacuate. I, the past two years, Savannah's been sort of hit with hurricanes. And, um, you know, I've seen the effects of those and those weren't even that bad of hurricanes and this one should be a beast. So please protect yourself and your family the best you can. And if you can leave, please leave because it's not worth risking your life. You know, I mean, it was scary coming back to Savannah after Matthew with all the trees down and with, you know, the flooding and the everything else. You know, I can, I can only imagine what that would be like with a category four hurricane, you know? So just please be safe. I know this has nothing to do with my pregnancy bump date, but I'm worried about you guys. And I want you guys to be safe. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking about this and I'm gonna show you my 10 week belly. Also, I am 100% tying my pants together with a hairband right now because I don't have my maternity clothes out yet and my regular clothes don't quite fit right. So that's what's happening. All right guys, well that is it for my 10 week bump date. I can't wait to see you guys back here for my 12 week bump date. I am gonna get a video up before I leave though about when or if we're gonna find out the gender of this baby. So stay tuned for that because that's coming. Um, but anyway, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.